Well, hello there everyone. You've tuned in UXW Bill. I have no idea what happened here. I just found this poor thing sitting outside in the yard, kind of buried underneath our wood pile. I don't know if it fell out of a shopping bag or what. This is one of those seven function digital multimeters that you can get for free at Harbor Freight every so often. They send out coupons for these. Of course, if you're not in the United States, maybe Canada, you'll probably have no idea what Harbor Freight Tools is. They're a severe discount tool retailer and pretty much everything they have to sell is made in China. Some of it's pretty good, some of it's not. Most of it's in between somewhere. I've talked about their products in the past when I bought their version of the Mastec MS8229 meter. But this poor thing, I don't know how long it's been sitting outside for, but long enough to discolor the packaging and make everything rusty. I just thought it would be interesting to see if there's any hope for this poor thing at all. I poured like three inches of water out of the bag, out of the packaging. There's the instructions. Still in surprisingly good shape. Those might be alright if I let them dry out. And here's this poor meter. Let's just see if there's any hope at all. Uh, it's totally lifeless. But with as much water was, as was in here, I imagine it probably murdered the battery. And I'm doing this just for fun. Obviously this meter can't ever be trusted again. But it would be interesting to see if I could get it to come back to life. This is definitely a job for more than one hand. And I'm making a bit of a rusty mess on the kitchen table. I would imagine the battery in here is just absolutely ruined. In fact, that might not be rust. It might be carbon zinc paste from inside the battery. It's really hard to tell. Yeah, it looks, it looks pretty bad. <laughs> Probably going to want to wash my hands after this. I can't even get it to come open. Oh yeah, that looks like a big mess. I'm pretty sure that battery is completely ruined. Let me see if maybe I could clean this thing up and if it would live again. I've made significant strides in cleaning up the mess. It almost looks like nothing ever happened. There's a little bit of corrosion and stuff in there. I'll get back to that in just a moment. This battery is damaged. It's definitely leaking. But just for grits and shins, I decided to touch my tongue to the terminals and see if there's any energy left in it whatsoever. And it turns out there is. I don't know how much, but that's why I've got this other meter here. And we'll just put the, the, uh, put the test probes on the, uh, on the leads here, which looks so easy until you actually try to do it. Yeah, that battery's junk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. Lord only knows how many days it's set outside. It'd probably still be good enough to let that meter turn on. The low battery indication on these little DT830 multimeters doesn't come on until somewhere around the 6 volt range. And usually they read fairly accurately down to about 4 volts and then at that point the logic just kind of folds over on itself and stops working properly. But I can't actually power this one up because the positive battery terminal has become detached from the board. And apparently this camcorder thinks that focus is something that happens only to other people. I don't know why it's gotten so sluggish about that. It's probably getting ready to break in some creative manner. But let me see if I could just tack that lead back on there and maybe get this thing to work again. <laughs> I know it's not worth it, but I just, I just can't resist the challenge of bringing a hopelessly dead thing like this back to life, especially since this was brand new. I'm sure I got it for free, but what the hey. Alright, so this is what you call putting way more effort into something than it is even remotely worth. I actually discovered that the positive battery trace had been eaten away, probably through a galvanic or electrolytic reaction. Same reason they put an anode 
rod inside your water heater. The less noble of two metals that are connected in some way will actually form a crude electrical cell, a battery cell, and they'll, the less noble of the two will start to be eaten away, and unfortunately that's what happened here. This absolutely wasn't worth doing. This board takes solder like crap. <laughs> Even fluxing it up really didn't help that much. But it did at least allow the thing to turn on and yeah, I've got problems. The display, the display is not working quite correctly. The resistance ranges are trying, but every so often we get a, a low battery symbol. The, the voltage ranges, or <laughs> the DC voltage range at least, is really screwed up, but maybe getting a little bit better than it was. It's indicating high voltage when it shouldn't be. Yeah, there may just be enough dampness in this thing to still screw it up, but I kind of doubt it. I think something's probably taken a hit. Probably the, the display driver and ADC integrated circuit has probably died because almost all the segments are illuminated there. But it seems somewhat cooperative in the resistance range, so why don't I just hook up the test leads and try it out? Here I've got a 10 ohm resistor and it's making a pretty valiant effort to work properly. It's, it's really trying. And it does seem <laughs> in between bouts of screwed up behavior. Of course I have to pick a range that actually works here. And, and yes, I did clean off the selector switch contacts as well as those on the print board. So I don't know if there's just enough residual moisture in there, but it's really trying. But I think it's probably just time to put this thing in the electronics recycling bin. Let's see if we can get a, a DC voltage reading out of it. We'll just try this battery and see if it gives us anything. I don't think it will. In fact, this may actually end up shorting the battery. It's hard to tell. Come on, give me something. Well, there we go. The polarity's wrong, but that's correct. Because I've got the negative side of the battery hooked up to the positive terminal on the meter, the positive probe. i got to give this thing credit. It's, <laughs> it's survived this better than I think, but... Yeah, it's, it's just done. Yeah, that's definitely not right. <laughs> Well, I'll let it dry out a little bit more, but I, I think this is probably material for the electronics recycling bin at this point. Thank you as always for watching, and certainly do feel free to leave a comment if you happen to have one.